Is this battery dead? No, it's, it's gone. It's recording? Yeah. Dude, GoPros are stupid. Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had? I've lost so much content because the batteries, if they'll stay fully charged, I'll put it in. 10 minutes later, gone. I bought a brand new battery, which was $20 for a GoPro because I was like, I'm not missing that footage ever. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> she has to back it up like that. Oh, I definitely just stalled it thinking about his bike. I forgot my clutch was so close. I love how my bike sounds cammed for like literally 10 seconds. It's like womp, 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 womp. He's got so much carbon on it. We actually want to run it, and I think it's going to be a very tight race. He might have me. He's up two in the rear and down one in the front, and then he's tuned by boss just like I am. He's got a k and filter, so that should actually be pretty interesting to see how that goes between me and him. His name's also Cam too, and he has an R6. <laughs> I really thought I was gonna have Hulk. I know I forgot how to ride my bike that quick. Seeing Hulk literally launch that thing, he was just gone. Like before I even let go of the clutch, he was already like 10 feet ahead of me. And I'm like, damn. That thing is a powerhouse, guys. Like scary. It didn't like scare me. I expected to be scared, but I was more so just like in awe. I like didn't have time to be scared. Yeah, you can die from that thing very much easier than this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That bike is stretched. Do you guys understand that? <laughs> Like crisis by an H2. Not that Hulk is having a midlife crisis, I just see that working out really good. <laughs> I love Cam. <laughs> sucks at parking always f it up look at where i'm at what happens to when granny comes in here and can't park blondie is getting on the h2 she's gonna shit her brakes hulk is on the r1 he's probably gonna do some wheelies we're gonna see what his bike up oh, compared to mine we're gonna get some runs in it's about to be a whole lot of adrenaline whole bunch of hype but let's get it yeah she's about to flip her noodles <laughs> Look at her on Don't that thing! She looks so no. small! You've never seen this before! She just didn't even see me!
That's what I'm talking about! So we got a little switch up. Hulk's on the R1, Blondie's on the 2020 R1, and you're on the H2. Hey, you wanna race again? I might win this time! You got a backpack! <laughs> yep, I got buggies all over my shield. <laughs> get some food and then we got a photo shoot we got a bunch of different bikes with us we got another r6 we got a zx6 303 horsepower h2 up front we got a clean s1000 2020 r1 the awesome freaking cbr 1000 that i'm actually kind of feeling like i kind of like the design and we got a nice little r1 oh it's a beautiful day out i'm double hooded up right now this area is awesome these people are awesome i honestly i absolutely love the one thing that youtube has showed me is to get out of my comfort zone because i honestly used to be very anti-social i think one of the best parts that i have learned it's kind of helped me develop as a person is to become more outgoing and just talk to people realize that there's pretty awesome people out there now that i kind of know what it's like to be with other people try to do it as much as possible Shake your body with it. <coughs> Damn, four dollars? What? Why is this bent? <laughs> I feel like a gas pump should not be bent. I feel like someone definitely drove off with this thing. <laughs> I, got <laughs> I got all four of them. <laughs> One thing 
thing I've been working on is my film and photography. And I'm trying to get that, A, because I've always been interested in it. If I didn't do YouTube, if I didn't do bikes, I'd honestly probably do something with arts. If I never wrote a day in my life, I think my life would have been driven to art of some sort. Whether that's photography, videography, producing, music, anything with art. Literally physical art. I actually like love to draw. I love to paint. I love the color. Put it in simple terms. I'm like the weirdest sober hippie you'll ever meet. But like there's a lot more to me than that. You guys see like the hype side, which is me on a bike. But I give you my raw emotions. I don't really put up a front. Like if I feel hype on the bike, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it through my voice and through my actions. Usually on the days that I don't feel hype or I need to go clear my mind, I don't turn on the camera. I just ride. And everyone needs those days, especially as a rider. I don't only get on the bike for content. I get on the bike for myself. <laughs> That's why you guys see the improvement of the film because I've been working like I want I continuously love to learn That includes uh, taking the time to learn stuff There's also another kind of field that I want to learn to bring into this No, I'm not telling you because I need to learn it first once I learn it and I feel confident enough You'll know it might take you guys by surprise some people probably already know but listen, it's a journey So I got to keep it interesting for you guys. I can't just tell you uh,